welcome to my channel. So today I wanted to talk about a topic that I often get asked about and that is buying pre-loved luxury designer handbags. As you can see around me, I have bought quite a few of them and I'm actually very happy with my experience buying pre-loved. And I actually get asked a lot of questions on my Instagram DM and here on my YouTube channel regarding buying secondhand or pre-loved bags and I thought maybe I should do a video about it. And so here we are. I actually want to share with you my experience with buying pre-love. I usually buy from Fashion File only because they guarantee the authenticity of all their luxury products, including bags, of course. And for me, that is just uh, taking a load off uh, of stress from buying secondhand because that is really my worry whenever I buy secondhand from other sites like eBay or other sites like Bestiaire Collective or other sites that are out there or even Instagram actually. I worry that what I am buying or what I'm paying for is not real or it's not authentic and I love that Fashion File guarantees the authenticity of their products and they check it themselves and they really make that their mantra and I love that. I love I love that I don't have to worry about it and that's really the most important thing I think. It really makes us fearful whenever we buy something that's inauthentic or that is a, a fake or a copy and that's why I always buy from Fashion File. This video is not sponsored by Fashion File by the way. I just really love their service and I love their website and how easy it is to navigate through it. For me, although I really love the experience of buying a luxury handbag in a store of course to get that uh, VIP treatment. I also like the idea of getting my bang for my buck when I buy pre-love. Of course, buying pre-love means that it's good for the environment, it's sustainable, you're giving new life to uh, an old item or an item that would otherwise be not be used or discarded. And I, I love the idea of that. I love that the bag actually has a story behind it and you can make it up of course unless you know the person that you bought it from the whole story behind the bag would be a mystery right i love the idea of this bag being given a second life and i love the fact that i'm the one who is giving it a second life a second chance at life and yeah apart from that most luxury designer handbags that are pre-loved are actually made better uh, they have better quality for instance, with Chanel, their older vintage handbags are actually gold-plated. Usually the leather quality is better and even the way the bag was crafted is better and that is actually why the bag has lasted this long. I mean, some of my bags are 20 to 30 years old and I'm very proud and happy about that. And apart from that, you really get a much better price when you buy pre-loved. Prices for luxury designer handbags have been increasing year by year and for some brands their prices are quite obscene and I cannot imagine dropping that much money on a, a brand new bag when I can buy something that's pre-loved but probably better quality than the new version and yeah I'm going to show you some of the bags that I bought pre-loved and hopefully it will inspire you to buy pre-loved as well. Okay let's get started. Okay, so the first bag that I'm going to show you is my Chanel Classic Flap in the size uh, small. And yeah, this bag is vintage. This bag is around 30 years old. This is from the early 1990s. As it said in the Fashion File post when I bought it, it shows that it is vintage. It is made of lambskin leather and the gold hardware is actually gold plated because back then Chanel used to gold plate their hardware. And so yeah, that's one reason why I love this bag. It is really so well made and it has lasted so long. It has lasted for 30 years without any issues with it. And it just shows how long a Chanel bag can really last. This is really such a classic bag. I can wear it with casual clothes or I can wear it with formal clothes and it looks good either way. It is so easy to mix and match this bag. I think this is the bag that I can easily wear with anything in my closet and I'm very very happy that I finally bought this. This was actually the first bag that I wanted to buy but I couldn't afford it at the time and for me that price was just so much although 
these days the price has tripled since the time that I wanted to buy it which makes me wonder what would have happened if I had bought it back then but then of course that's all in the past now I have this bag and the amount that I paid for it was the amount that I found too expensive when I wanted to buy it back in the early 2000s and I actually wanted to buy the the beige one the beige Claire but I backed out because the price was just too much for me. But I'm glad that I was able to find this one and I'm so happy with how it looks. I love how the leather still has some puff to it because I have seen some vintage Chanel bags that are completely flat. They just look so deflated, although they are still beautiful. I would still want a little bit of a puff in it. This one still has some a little bit of puff to it and I'm very happy about it. I love the way it feels. It is very soft. The leather is lambskin leather and it is the softest leather and I love that it still maintains its shape although I do keep it stuffed. I have some air paper in there as well as the dust bag that it came in and yeah I bought this in Fashion File. This is uh, number one for me. I really love this purchase. When I bought this like a year and a half ago the price was still okay but now that I check it because of the Chanel price increase the price of the vintage bags also increased which was so shocking and I haven't seen a price this good since the price increase and everything else seems to be a little bit more expensive so I think the best time to buy if you really want to buy this bag is now because Chanel constantly increases their prices and there might be a time that you won't be able to afford it anymore and that's what I actually think about now is really the time to to uh, invest in it because in the future it we might not be able to afford it anymore <laughs> okay next up is this Louis Vuitton Speedy 30 in the monogram print and I bought this pre-love in replacement to the brand new uh, Louis Vuitton Speedy 30 in Damier Azure that I bought for myself that was my first ever luxury designer handbag that I bought in Hong Kong I did a whole video about it and I had since sold it. I loved it and used it all the time and there was a time when I stopped using it and so I sold it and I regretted it so much and so I ended up buying another one but this time in the monogram print and this one will stay in my collection forever I think because I don't ever want to feel that regret of selling a bag and it's a sad feeling to have because you already had the bag and you let it go but I'm glad I was able to find this bag and it was made in the same year as the first bag that I got and actually the price of this was the same price that I let it go for so I'm very happy about it it actually looks pretty good considering the patina that we're all worried about right it has patinaed very well and it has like this nice like caramel color or honeycomb honeycomb color that I really love like it doesn't look so battered and uh, the leather is very much intact and although the handles aren't white because when you get them they're almost like this very cream color I love the way this has patinaed and you you can really see that this was really taken care of and I love uh, the color uh, there are no watermark spots so I know that the, the previous owner of this really took care of this no no rips no issues with it and yeah I really love it I'm actually thinking of getting a strap an extra strap so I can wear it cross body but so far I think I like how it looks when I hold it handheld like this but it would be good to have a strap just in case but yeah, I'm very happy with this. I mean, Speedy 30 is like a classic bag that everyone has in their collection. And usually this is the first bag that we buy. And that was true for me, of course. And I'm very happy with this. I love the, the color. It just matches with everything. And yeah, this, this is definitely staying in my collection forever. Okay, next up is this vintage bag from Chanel. And it is this Chanel XL Tote. The leather itself is actually lightweight, but this can be quite heavy. But I love this detail the most because it really stands out. And when I am wearing like a coat 
or when I'm abroad traveling, this looks so good like against uh, like a heavy coat because this is oversized and the chain just looks so classy and it's like a classic Chanel bag. I mean, it's so simple. It has like the CC logo here. For me, it's a stunner because it looks so different. It is a vintage bag and yeah, the leather itself is actually very good. Like I love how soft the leather is. I think this is calf skin leather and this is from the early 90s as well and so the, it has lasted this long and it looks so good and inside there is just a zip compartment but it is quite spacious and it is just a big hole in there but i usually use this with a bag organizer and it works really well all my things are organized and i don't really lose anything this is such a great bag to have and i am so happy to have found this okay next is the saint laurent bag it is the saint laurent sac de jour and I love this bag. It actually took me a while to purchase this because it does not have any enclosure. It does not have uh, a magnetic enclosure or a zipper. It just has this smaller zipper, but security wise, it is a wide open bag. That's why I always hold it like this. And I just use it for times when I don't need to put my bag down. I also wear it crossbody and when I do, there is sort of security because it's close to me. But yeah, that's my only issue about this bag. There is no enclosure and I just feel sort of exposed uh, and wary whenever I wear this. But it is a really nice bag. It has this nice pebbled leather and it is so soft and so durable like it comes in this cream color and I, I really love the design actually that's why I was drawn to it and I'm glad that I bought it pre-loved because the price of this I got it for like maybe one third or one fourth of the original price especially here in the Philippines with all the taxes if I had bought this in the store it would have cost me so much more but since I bought this pre-loved, I was able to get it for a steal and get it in the color that I want. And yeah, I'm very happy about it. I'm very happy that I was able to save a lot of money by buying this pre-loved. And actually one thing about buying pre-loved is that you don't really need to baby it because you know that someone else has used it already. And so yeah, you don't need to like worry about your bag getting scratched up or banged up. You can just use it straight away because it has been used before. And that is the function of a bag, right? Like to, to be used. Usually Saint Laurent bags don't really keep its value. Like it's better to buy it pre-loved to be honest because at the store, it's just so expensive. But like a car, as soon as you take it out, the value of it just drops and yeah so much better to buy this pre-loved and i'm so glad that i did okay next up is another vintage bag this is from the early 90s of course this is the fendi mama baguette i was initially looking for the fendi baguette because it made a resurgence after the whole 90s trend uh, came back and yeah it even included fendi releasing their new version of their baguette and yeah, this became such a hot commodity. Actually, even now it is a hot commodity because of course it just looks so good. And this is reminiscent of Sex and the City because uh, Carrie Bradshaw, the lead in the series, always carried a Fendi baguette. And this one is a bigger version of the baguette. It is called the Mama Baguette. And I actually prefer this size because I am a mom and I do carry a lot more things. Though initially, as I said, I was really looking for the baguette, but I could not find it. And so I got this one and I'm glad that I paid a little more because there were quite a few of them, but the price really depended on their condition and I got the most expensive one. The ones that were being sold along with this had some splitting happening here. Like the leather was splitting and falling apart and I paid a little extra to make sure that this strap is in good condition. And I actually love this bag so much. I used it all over Europe when I went 
last December to January and it just matched all my outfits and it's like a year-round bag because you can wear it for summer you can wear it for uh, summer spring summer fall winter and it looks so good and I think this is one of my favorite bags because it's so lightweight and I love the design it's so classic and I know that this won't go out of style because there has been a resurgence already. There has been a new reissue of the baguette and so yeah. I think this is such a classic Fendi design and I know for sure that they are going to keep their Zuka print forever because it just looks so good and yeah, actually everyone loves it. Of course, I was comparing the price of this to buying a brand new Fendi baguette, the reissue and of the price of that is just so so expensive and I think this is really the way to go. This is from the early 90s and I got it for a steal. The price was just too good to pass up really and that's why I snapped it up and I'm so glad that I did. Okay last but not the least is this Balenciaga Agno classic first bag in the color sky blue and this is actually a recent purchase from fashion file as well and i just got this in the mail and i'm so happy that i got this i actually wanted this bag for a long long time like since it came out but i always found it so expensive for what it is like i mean i wouldn't really pay that much like a full price for this bag especially now the hype has died down but for me this will always be a classic bag and I got it in this color because it looks like denim actually it comes out quite different here on the screen in real life for me it looks like denim it has a denim color and so it's easy to mix and match with my entire wardrobe and I don't have this color in my collection yet and so that's why I decided to pick this up at Fashion File. Also the price was just too good to pass up. It was like gosh one fourth or one fifth of the price that you would buy this at the store and I am just I couldn't pass it up. The condition of this is like this is in a very good condition and I don't really see any problem with it. Like I know that this wasn't used that much it shows and this was from the early 2000s like it's from like 2006 and yeah that was actually the time when I really wanted this bag but I didn't think it was worth buying that time and I'm glad that I waited because now I know that I still like the bag but I know that I can get it for a much better price. Like Saint Laurent, Balenciaga doesn't really keep its value that well. You can get these for a really good price these days and really there's no need to go out to the store and buy a brand new one because you can get it pre-loved for the same condition. I mean it, it comes in this like distressed leather so you're gonna get the same one brand new at the store like it, it has this sort of like old look. And yeah, that's really what I love about buying pre-love because you get the bags that you've always wanted in the past for a really, really good price. I mean, if you really love the bag, it doesn't really matter if it is still an it bag or not. For me, this will always be a classic bag. Of course, for me, that is my own preference. And yeah, I see myself using this for a very, very long time. I mean, for me, I don't really care about trends that much. I was able to get it for a really good price, so I don't really need to worry about whether or not this will hold its value. And that's what I love about buying pre-loved bags. It's just so much more bang for your buck. And if you really know what you love, then it doesn't really matter if it's in style or in trend or not. You can just buy what you like. Okay, so again, I bought all of these bags from Fashion File because they guarantee the authenticity of all their luxury goods. And for me, that is why I always end up buying from them because that is one less thing that I need to think about. And I usually send my purchases through my shopping box. I have a PO box there at my shopping box. And when I send my purchases from Fashion File to my shopping box, my shopping box then delivers it straight to my house. I don't really need to pay for extra taxes. I do pay for taxes at Fashion File when I buy it. It really depends on what state you buy it from. And since my shopping box is based in Burbank, Los Angeles, then I will need to pay for the taxes 
for California. And yeah, that is the only taxes that I pay for. Of course, the shipping and the handling fee of my shopping box is included there, but I don't really need to pay for anything in customs anymore. It is delivered straight to my house without a problem, and I really love it. Uh, of course, this video is not sponsored by my shopping box, but I really love their service so much, and they have never lost any item. Uh, I have sent bags, watches, jewelry, from my purchases in Fashion File and they've never lost anything and I'm very confident to actually recommend them because they have such a good uh, standing with me and my family. And yeah, if you have any other questions to ask me about buying pre-love, you can ask them down below. I'll be sure to answer them. And I hope that this video was helpful to you. I had fun talking about buying pre-love bags because I am quite passionate about searching for the best pre-love bag for me. And I'm glad that I was able to share with you the bags that I have bought pre-love from Fashion File and that I truly love and really use all the time. And yeah, I hope you liked this video, guys. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to comment down below to let me know what you think. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!